Dear fifth semester CIC stream students, hope you are all doing well. I welcome you all again into my channel Motion LD14 where I am uploading passing packages for BPU students and also important lectures. So today I am with the, uh, the first subject of the fifth semester that is software engineering and project management. So before discussing the passing package, let me tell you one thing over here. So from fifth semester onwards, you have the great opportunity to boost your CGPA if you are having the less CGPA if you are lagging behind. Uh, from the first to fourth semester so it is the right time to upgrade your uh, CGPA right which will significantly impact on your overall score keeping this thing in mind most of the companies look for minimum 7.5 CGPA during placements you already know it so uh, improve your performance starting from now itself so now let me discuss here the important questions and passing package for your students subject code is BCS501 so from the module first itself we will discuss the super important questions first of all we have defined software process Ex explain generic software process framework it may be the 10 marks question in the video examination as far as theoretical subjects are concerned try to fill more number of pages in the examination try, try to understand the concept in your own convenient language then you can write down in your own words in the examination next we have defined process patterns explain the means of describing the patterns Explain the different types of evolutionary process models. It may be again 10 marks question. Next we have explained waterfall model and spiral model. Or sometimes they will ask you to differentiate between these two models. Next we have discussed the David Hooker's 7 principles of software engineering practice. And explain the different attributes uh, are encountered in the vast majority of web apps. And uh, last uh, three questions, sorry last two questions we are having here. That is explain software myths with the examples. And with a neat diagram explain incremental process models uh, describe the five activities that a generic process framework for software engineering encompasses so these are the seven super important questions from the module first so you should surely go through these seven questions next we have model second with an example describe the class responsibility collaborator that is crc modeling explain three types of uh, qfd with examples explain scenario band model with example and how can you develop an effective use case this is the most important question which you cannot simply neglect that is uh, how can you develop an effective use case develop a uml use case diagram for home security function and define requirements engineering explain its distinct tasks next we have explained various approaches in uh, requirements modeling explain requirements uh, elicitation and explain the activities and steps involved in negotiation software requirements and what are the basic guidelines for conducting a collaborative requirements gathering meeting these are seven questions from model second which you have to go through next we have here model third explain principles of agility so again super important question what is agility or sometimes they will ask you simply what is agility explain agility with the cost of change with diagram explain the principles of agile soft software development and explain scrum process model explain feature driven development and elucidate the concepts of extreme programming with its functional diagram and elucidate scrum process with a neat diagram explain communication practice uh, this principle and uh, explain safe home security functions for flow oriented modeling and behavioral modeling and explain adoptive software development ASD model with sketch and describe briefly the design modeling principles that guide the respective framework activity so these are eight questions super important questions from the module third now coming to the module four uh, explain the procedure of setting objectives for successful completion of software project 10 marks question with example uh, explain different categories of software projects Explain the significance of efficient project management. Elucidate the concepts in activity planning in software project management and explain the risk valuation with example. Uh, next we have defined project, explain the characteristics of a project and explain the activities of management in doing management control. And the last two questions we have here, explain traditional versus project management practices, how to access uh, project success and failure in SPM. Next, we have il illustrate the project management life cycle. Write a short note on smart objective management control with project control cycle. So these are the eight questions from module four. Now coming to the last module, module fifth, we have some super important questions like uh, define software quality, explain quality specification in detail. Why do we need software quality models? Explain Garvin's quality dimension. 
and explain MC calls model which is the super important one explain ISO 9126 major external software quality characteristics and explain quality management systems with principles of BSEN ISO and uh, next we have list and explain the techniques to enhance software quality and software reliability explain capability process model and CMM key areas uh, explain product versus process quality management and what are the advantages of carrying out inspection list the general principles to be followed during inspection right so this is the subject where you can score uh, more than 80 marks so dear students this is the scoring subject try to fill the paper as much as possible try to fill more than 30 pages of your answer booklet so that you will get good marks so i wish you all the best for your examinations make sure you will share this video to all your friends and batchmates thank you Thank you.